Should Kenyans brace themselves for a new era of digital dictatorship? Are the latest developments suggest a chilling comply or face the consequences approach from the government to Kenyans, with actions growing more severe by the day. Our shared ambition for digital transformation of our economy is paramount to secure our cyberspace and put in place the framework that will facilitate the secure transfer of information required for e-commerce, internet banking, and many other applications. Just hours ago, Kenyans were jolted by the sudden unavailability of Telegram, a popular social media app sparking questions and protests across other platforms. It all began on Friday, November 8th, when a large number of users found themselves locked out of Telegram for hours. Confusion spread and Twitter became a hive of speculations and frustration with the influencers and citizens alike demanding answers. Eventually, under mounting pressure, the Communication Authority of Kenya, CAK, came forward, reluctantly admitting that it had ordered the apps shut down. And what made this revelation even more startling was that the government had tried to do it quietly, intending to keep Kenyans in the dark until bloggers like Cyprian Nyakundi started making noise on Twitter. Now, according to a directive from the CAK addressed to major network providers, that is Safaricom, Airtel and Telecom, all operators were instructed to restrict access to Telegram, citing rampant cheating during the national exams. But this justification went beyond exam integrity. The CAK accused Telegram of fostering unlawful activities within the country, stating that it had to act swiftly to curb the app's misuse. Now, the orders stipulated specific blackout hours, effectively blocking Telegram from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. and again from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m., Monday through Friday until November 22nd, 2024. When this letter leaked online, NetBlocks, a global internet observatory, confirmed the restrictions, leaving Kenyans in disbelief and questioning if this was just the beginning of digital dictatorship. Now, social media became a platform for Kenyan voices to express their frustration, with some fearing that this temporary measure was a test run for something more permanent eventually. A comments on Twitter reflected the growing unease. They have shut down Telegram. Next, they will silence Twitter too, step by step, one user remarked. Another added saying, this is just testing our tolerance. Soon, they will silence us when we oppose the next finance bill. As a country, where we have adapted technologies that drive business innovation and growth, we are increasingly getting exposed to new and emerging technology threats. As such, we must protect our critical information infrastructure from malicious actors to safeguard our economy and data integrity. Now, many fear that Telegram's end-to-end -end encryption and strong privacy features could make it a target for a complete ban. But the government has long voiced frustration over its inability to monitor the platform. They have tried snooping on Kenyans through Telegram, but unfortunately, the government has failed terribly, especially in light of incidents like the cyber attack on Kenyans' citizen service website, the eCitizen. Now, the attackers issued threats through Telegram, leaving the authorities unable to trace them, a reminder of the app's secure yet elusive nature. And at that time, when the attackers took over eCitizen, the entire website went blank. Moshimiwa, eCitizen was hacked this week. Oh, yes. And to me, that is not, it's not strange because uh, cyber attack. Uh, is predominant the world over. Mm. We cannot stop digitizing our records and digitalizing our services because we are risk averse. What we need to put in place is an elaborate risk mitigation framework, which we are ready for anyway. There was an attack, we are addressing that. We are not just uh, coming up with instant uh, 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 remedial measures to address the current situation. We are ensuring that around this digitalization space, we will build an elaborate 
risk mitigation framework for purposes of sustainable digitalization. What does this attack look like, this latest one? This latest one, what, what they did is that they tried jamming the system by making more than ordinary requests into the system. Yeah. Uh, for, it started by slowing, so slowing down the system. Mm. Yeah. Um, and then we, 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 we addressed it. Uh, it so they haven't been able to access our personal information? No, no data has been uh, accessed no data has been lost okay. now you know we have been proactive in that space as well uh, eric what we did because we had foreseen this we have established and operationalized the office of the data commissioner and anchored it on law yeah mm. uh, to ensure that they execute the mandate of both data privacy on one hand and data security on the other apart from the office of the data commissioner we have also constituted a multifaceted team uh, of uh, within government whose mandate is to ensure that in a proactive manner they are constantly monitoring the trends globally in cyber security picking lessons from there uh, discerning the best case practices as far as mitigation against uh, cyber security is concerned and putting in place an appropriate risk mitigation measure it mm. is a continuous an entity that is continuously scanning the operational environment yep. to determine the trends <coughs> of, of cyber insecurity and making sure that locally here within the country we have an appropriate and an elaborate risk mitigation measure now with the nation's anger simmering it is clear that the government is uneasy about the power of social media in the hands of its citizens under President Ruto's administrations, Kenyans wonder if they are on the path toward restricted digital freedom, following in the footsteps of Uganda and other countries that have curbed social media to stifle dissent. Only time will tell if this is a temporary measure or a preview of a more controlled, monitored digital landscape.